Hey, this is Balance, and you're watching Local Band Smokeout. Which I think is just this right here. And uh, we're all set and ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, Shark Fan of the Black! Hell yeah! What's up, boys? How we doing? I appreciate you guys, uh, you guys being here. It's a little bit hard to hear you, just for a heads up. Crank that thing up. Yeah, that's better for sure. A little bit better. Uh, gentlemen, I know we've jammed and hung out a bunch of times, but for those that may not know who you are, do me a favor, properly introduce yourself. Let me know whereabouts in the world you are. Please plug and promote anything you'd like. No, I... I can't, I can't, Joe. So there's something going on with the audio. Is that is that better? That's perfect. That's that's one hundred percent perfect. Um, so my name is Joseph Gonzalez. I play guitar and shark fin, and uh, go ahead, you're doing great. This is our uh, basically <laughs> basically our love child. We started this in high school, mm -hmm. and uh, we've had a lot of members come and go, but um, we found Johnny recently. He started playing he's bass for us. Here. Saving grace. Thank you, John. Saving the day. And uh, in the in the meantime, we've just been trying to look for a drummer and finish um, our album, which comes out around uh, like late October. So it's been done for a while, but it's just all timing stuff. Yeah, yeah. We just yeah, we're trying to uh, get merch together. We're like slowly building up merch, and uh, that's pretty much it. All the finalizations. No worries. Uh, finalizations. <laughs> that's that's the process we're in on that. Before we before we kind of deep dive get going, so I know that that Joe, you balance a couple of different projects, but you said Shark Fin's kind of like your your baby. So no matter how many yeah. projects that you you simultaneously are in, this is the one that is I would guess is kind of most important because it's been your it's your high school band. Yeah, absolutely. I also have the most, um, <clears throat> like, a lot more creative control. I just kind of sit on the sidelines with the other bands that I'm in. But with this one, I'm, like, uh, kind of all in, and I kind of, like, uh, I lead more of the project rather than uh, follow, uh, I suppose. I get you. And then, once again, if you could, uh, please let me know all the social media links that uh, everyone can follow you guys and support. Absolutely. You can find um, our new single, Distilled Habits. We just uh, made a music video for it. You can find that anywhere music is streamed, uh, Spotify, iTunes. Um, our music video is on YouTube as well. We jammed it like 15 minutes ago just to prep everybody for what you guys sound like. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hell yeah. Yeah, we really loved that shoot. That was um, our, the, our photographer, uh, George. That was his first music video as well. So he was, he was kind of, yeah, he's delving into the realm. Hell yeah, very cool. Well, uh, what, what do you guys do in spare time when, when music is not the priority that day? What is just like an average day in, in your individual lives? Shoot, I think, for me, I think I'm just grinding at work. It's either uh, go go to work and then come home and practice guitar and try to get whatever I can uh, with what little time I have <laughs> at home, you know? And uh, I'm, I'm stretched pretty thin with my time, so I gotta really schedule things out. Gotcha. But, well, yeah, let's go, around the, let's go around the room with that question. Oh, hello, my name's Seth. Howdy, Seth. How's it going? Good I to see you. like the hair, by the way. Thank you, Chad. Pick, Chad picked today. it four days ago. I had no choice over it. There was it was a lot of options, and they picked hot pink. So here we are. Hell yeah! <laughs> Reminds me of our buddy Diego. Okay, he hell loves yeah. Hot pink. Shout out Diego. Yeah. Hell yeah! Shout out Diego. Um, what do I do? I do a lot. Uh, we have three dogs, my girlfriend and I. 
How's your girlfriend, by the way? She is good. Everything's okay. She, she, she's gonna manage. Yes, she was in a uh, rollover collision. Oh my god, I'm sorry. But she's tough as fuck. She's she's bruised up, but she's tough. Hell yeah! Shout so, out, shout out to tough, good, tough ladies. Yeah, <laughs> she's cooking us dinner still now. She's oh, nice, awesome. So she, making she, us she's all gold. dinner. She's golden. <laughs> So, yeah. Um, yeah, dogs. Uh, right now I'm off work because I work at the school district. So school's out for summer. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I like to skate. I like martial arts, doing the band stuff. I'm trying to go back to school. I'd like to get a degree in psychology. Okay. That's awesome. I don't know. Yeah, that's in a little 30-second sum up. I don't know. That's That'll work. That'll work. That's that's kind of it. What do you do? Hey, I'm Johnny. I uh, I don't know, I'm a pretty big gamer. I really like uh. Tell me your gamer tags. Yeah, my gamer tag Mohawkosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> From back in the day when I had a mohawk and I loved dinosaurs. Oh, yeah. So, what's the best dinosaur like? ever? Uh, all of them. I heard <laughs> all of them. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big uh, Gears of War fan. I like Gears of War. A lot, of that. a lot of fighting games. I like Mortal Kombat, Dragon Ball Fighters. Yeah, you got you got Mortal Kombat, the new remake already pre-saved? No, not yet. I will though. It's coming up. Okay, cool. Hell yeah. Seth, I wanna I wanna dive into how wild the live show is. Now I've seen you guys live a couple times and it's superb, but I saw a, a video one time of you where you ran off stage, grabbed somebody's skateboard, hit the half pipe like oh. during a breakdown came back on stage and didn't miss a beat. What can someone expect if they were to see Shark Fin live? Um, don't expect anything. And I mean that in the source of broadness. I don't know. I just like to... Shark Fin Live is just like my release. It's the time where I just get to channel everything and, you know, the more freakish I am in that aspect, like... The, the more, more attention people we appreciate it. The more we go, wow. So I don't know. I just, I've always liked the crazy stuff. Like, I've always liked rock and roll. Always wanted to be a rock star, right? Hell yeah. So now this is our little bridge into that. So, like, all just the wild stuff, like Angus Young, right? He used to get on the floor and do, like, the wild, just, <laughs> I don't know, he'd get on the floor and have a temper tantrum. In, totally. like, what, seventh grade, the dude from Fall Out Boy was jumping off the amps. Uh, that's where I get jumping off the ants from. I don't even got to lie. <laughs> so, and you and, and you said you were you were a teacher also, Seth? No, I am not a teacher. Okay. I am a yard narc at elementary school. I would love to be a teacher. Okay. That would be cool. I don't know if I could handle a bunch of third graders for 180 days though. I'd rather be a counselor. A counselor. Yeah, I'd like to be I like to be the back end like, hey, you guys can always come to me, but I don't want to be the ones they have to <laughs> I got you. See it, it, I know that you said that the Stilled Habits was the the first video from your homie that that shot you guys, and the album is roughly coming in October. Can we expect another single or two prior to October? Oh, of course you can. <laughs> Excellent. Gigi, I'm so glad that you asked us that because you know we have this little notepad paper for all this right here, <laughs> and that is actually a thing on there. We are releasing another single with a music video for our song "Lurking in the Depths." Is there Anybody a rough, rough timetable that we could expect it? Because obviously we're going to push it heavy. You want to let them know or what? You don't have to give me a date. Just you know, sometime a month or two. Probably within the next month. Fantastic. At Fantastic. Hell yeah. Yeah. Did did Lizzie prep you guys on the hot sauce for the trivia? Yeah. <laughs> what did you bring? What did you bring today? Oh, you brought a bomb have you ever, one. Have you ever like a hot been one? From, have you ever No, wait. It says Scorpion Pepper that it sounds like or and Carolina oh. Reaper. Well, yeah, those are just actually the two hottest things. It's a really funny story. Joe and I years ago went on this like hot sauce wing kick where it's like I just want to know what the fucking hottest sauce is. I don't even really like hot sauces that much. But like once a year on one of our birthdays, we'll like. You just like suffering. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, see how pussy we are or not. <laughs> and so Carolina Reaper, Scorpion Sauce, those are like hot ones. I've heard there's some other random pepper now. Oh, that, I don't know the look whole like, story. They look like Bucky's. Dude, items. they are Bucky's. That's what I was. Where get. did you get I, those from? Straight I imagine from Joe Texas. grabbed them on tour somewhere or something. No, sir. I just visited my mom in Texas with my girlfriend and my daughter. We went to go see moms in Texas awesome. and a buddy of mine who also who likes bright pink, Diego, he had went to Texas and was like, dude, this place, Bucky's. It's awesome. So we sauce. made like a whole day trip just to go to Bucky's. <laughs> Hell, I've never been to a Bucky's before. I've never even seen one, but I always hear it's cool. about it. You got to go. I hear it's like a Walmart gas station. It's something like that. Yeah, I'm going to get you some beaver nuggets. OK, cool. I'm down to try get you it. some beaver nuggets to do to do the trivia, though. If you guys could agree on a movie or a TV show, one or the other that you've seen so many times, I'm going to look up trivia on this and it's impossible. I stump you because you, this is your favorite movie or your oh, favorite boy. TV show. I'll give you a second to think about it. And uh, we'll just quickly one more time, play a little bit of stilled habits, talk amongst yourself and I'll come right back. I'm just saying, I know, I know. What do they know the most about? <laughs> Is it Selena? Is it anime? You're gonna find out. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> Wait, can you hear us right now? I can absolutely hear you. Oh, he okay. Yes. Did everybody hear all that dialogue going on? No, we heard like a little bits oh. and pieces. I heard, I heard Avatar and SpongeBob. That's all I heard at the end. Yeah, we and, went all and I heard Selena. And I heard Selena. And that we, was Joe's. Pick. We went from we went from the Notebook to uh, uh, the Princess Bride to. Anime. And okay, wait, 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 who, who, <laughs> I've seen the mo notebook a bunch, but who, who Stop almost it. picked the notebook? Me. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, when, as soon as I, I thought everything went, I was like, okay, literally the two movies I know the most are the notebook. I would and not have Princess guessed Bride. that about you. I would not have guessed that. So one, it's probably, I mean, first of all, every time I watch a notebook, I cry at the end. They're 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 happy tears because they they love each other in the bed scene and all that stuff. But um, so it's one it was, that just rips at you. It just gets you. It, gets <laughs> it you. rips at you. What 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 uh what do you guys think though as your choice? I'm gonna say we could go with Avatar: The Last Airbender because all three of us know that. Yeah. Okay. Th that's we're the, all pretty. I've never in on seen the Avatar: one. The Last Airbender. I know what it is, but I've never seen. It, it can't be the movie. The movie's trash, and I've only seen that once, regretfully. But the show, I know that all day. Okay, give me a second on that. Uh, is there any? Is there any local features that we're allowed to talk about on on the October album, or is it is it just you guys? And have you ever considered uh, like a big name feature on a track? Yeah, actually. Um... We do, we want to record some newer songs, like some singles after we release the album. And uh, we, we have these connections with the other bands now. So I wanted to have uh, Xavier Hernandez from He Films to like kind of do some vocals and uh, maybe have some other guitars sit in and do some leads and stuff like that. Maybe even some guest, uh, some other guest vocalists. Seth's getting a beer. Um, You're gonna need it after the hot sauce. I'm about to stump you. Oh, I know. I'm just saying. So, so but, but <laughs> as far as uh, like local to 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 the area, there's no there's no other bands featured on on uh, the release in October. On our album, no, no. Okay, just no, saying. It, yeah, we're still kind of uh, building the blocks, so to speak, of uh, of the band. And uh, I honestly didn't think anyone would be interested to to want to collaborate like that. So we just kept it strictly like, let's just get this done and see if anyone even really likes it. We like Which it. Which we've had a really good response from the single. 
Yeah, no, it's fantastic. The the that's my favorite part. Every single time I'm air guitar and out of control during that part right there. <laughs> Love but it. Right now. It's only one video. That's only one song. I mean, that's okay. It's, I love it. It's, I don't get tired of it. You got a pocket full of bangers ready to toss it, everybody. I'm ready. I'm ready to hear it. But I'm going to stump you right now. Please do. Avatar The Last Airbender. There's an episode called The Kiyoshi Island. What is the name of the girl that calls Ang Angie in that episode? You cannot cheat. You're all looking at something weird. I don't know what it is. Oh, I'm shit. I'm literally staring at his anime ass background. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I thought you were on the right side of his. I thought phone. he was he was he was Google searcher or something. What is the name of the girl that calls Ang Angie in the Kiyoshi Island episode? I want to say that's the can, who's the Earth girl that they pick up. Who's blind? Earth girl that's blind. What's her name? what's her name? Toph. What'd you say? What? We're not going with that answer, okay? We're gonna we're gonna spitball with Toph, the blind. That is girl not from correct. <laughs> the answer was Coco. Ang replies, "Okay, Coco," but of course she's a fair weather fan and gets bored with him right away. That's what it says. The answer. I don't know the show. Is that that was a pretty good one? I'm trying to think of who was Coco. That's, that's probably, not a key that's player. Right when they get to the Coco, island, I know it's and with all the regardless, let's enjoy some hot sauce. Okay. I'm gonna do some hot sauce with you. I got some red hot oh, riplets. Yeah. Cheers, boys. Okay. Let's get so, to it. I just chug a little bit out of the thing. Good luck. Oh, that one has little bits of something. So. The next question, while we're suffering, that I like to ask a lot of the guests we have on, is let's say, hypothetically, so-and-so comes along and just loves shark fins so much, and they're giving you the best deal in the entire world. You get to keep all your masters. That's number one. You get to, you're in control of that. But it also comes with a huge signing bonus per band member. Millions per band member. You cannot buy a house you cannot spend any of the money on your family, and you cannot spend any of the money on more gear. Is there an old school toy or item you always wanted that now you can afford? Hmm. Wow. While you, while you think I can spitball something just straight off the top right here, this goes back to my uncle, my uncle Timmy. He told me this one time, <laughs> he said, if I ever won the lottery, you know, real big, like I won billions of dollars and I just had so much money I didn't know what to do with, I'd get a a big, like, 100-foot silly string can and just shoot it into the mountains. And apparently he just thought it would be dope to, like, get a gigantic mega-sized can of silly string, use a hydraulic press, press it down, and just watch it launch mega silly string into the mountains. This really exists, so I'm gonna, or that's that would that's what you would pick, because that's awesome, and I want to be there. I want to see it. I mean, you can make it happen with all of the money, right? It's true. Like, yeah, I don't see why I not. I think that would that thrill like would only last like that thrill would only last like a couple of minutes, but damn, it would be. Yeah, great. but like, who do you know that would <laughs> that, that? I don't know. Yeah, I guess you go internet viral for a couple days. Yeah. Definitely. Like that. Everyone wants to see that. That'd be cool. Just for a cool few minutes. Like nobody wants to go internet viral like for eons. I don't know. And just one video. That'd be cool. I'd be happy with me personally if I had one dope video of me shooting a giant mega silly string canister into the mountains. I don't know. I'm bringing silly string to the next show and just going to run up on and, and hose you down in the middle of the set. Just Please, please do your worst. <laughs> we love that I'm kind totally of thing. I'm totally doing it. That's what it what, right what else, what, what would you guys say as far as what you would spend your money on? Um, yeah, if we got a record deal and 
We got a bunch of money for we it, but house, we can't buy more gear. Can and you can't, you can't, buy... you can't take care of your family because those are the three answers. Okay, can I get gets. like a? You think a museum would let me buy like a dinosaur fossil? It's like a full <laughs> T Rex. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Okay. There you go. I think that's what I do. Yeah. Chat earlier wanted to know if you've been to Cabazon. Yes. Okay. Cool. Always wanted to skate Cabazon. Pretty cool there. Yeah. I heard they. I, I think it was there that I heard the radio today. That uh, is that where Pee Wee Herman shot part of his movie back in the day. I heard. Yeah, that, I heard that they like episode. dressed one of the dinosaurs in a Pee Wee Herman outfit like yesterday. He just passed oh, yeah. away. I know that. Yeah, I, th I think that's yeah. why they did that. I just had. A, yeah, like, they're constantly. Uh, they're constantly repainting those dinosaurs for like Mother's Day and Easter, yeah. like putting crazy stuff on them. That is it's cool. really cool I mean, when you come. Uh, at different times of the year. Very seasonal. But yeah, I think uh, if we if I got a nice record deal and got a bunch of money, I think I would do something dangerous. You know, like have someone teach me how to jump a mega ramp, or like like an X Games somewhere. style mega ramp, like yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. Like in yeah. your backyard or something. That, and all that padding up there. <laughs> Bob Burnquist is just like, all right, Joe, go. <laughs> so, all right. Hopefully tuck, into a foam pit or something. Tuck and roll. <laughs> <laughs> if you're down to do one, are, is your mouth burning, by the way? Skydive? What? My yeah. I did the Carolina Reaper one, and I'm dying. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if we can do a redemption trivia, also based on Avatar. <laughs> Who is the king of Omashu? Omashu. I do believe that the gentleman is over a hundred years old. The answer we're looking for. Yes, our answer is uh, King Boomy. That is correct. Give well done, hell yeah. King Boomy. Yep. So we're gonna. I don't know if you can see. Can you guys see the wheel? I don't think so. I'm spinning a wheel right now, and it looks like I have to bite. Nope. Wait. Buy something. We want to see the wheel. I have to do a shoey. I have to do a shoey. Do you know what a shoey is? Shoey? Stop it. You are not. You are about to do a shoey right now. You want to join me? Uh, no, sir. <laughs> I have I'm a designated wearing... shoe just for this reason. I don't wear this shoe anymore, but it's seen, it's seen better days. I'm wearing cowboy boots, dog. <laughs> oh, dude, you could do the whole beer in that thing. And they would ruin them. I'd have them. to get a whole 40. It'd ruin them. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna do a shoey. Uh, tell me about the worst That's set. Amazing. Everyone has a worst set ever. Everything went wrong on this show. How did you learn from it, and what happened? Okay. Yep. I I, I might have like two, but oh, look at him go! Look at him go! I'm a trooper. That's so cool. <laughs> That's respect. That's cool. 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 I don't know. No. Wait. I don't know. My worst one might have been when we didn't have a bassist playing at the Whiskey A Go-Go because we got to play the Whiskey A Go-Go and didn't have a bassist. And I was trying to, like, do something cool, walk up some stairs over there, and my mic cord got all, like, wrapped and stuck. And, like, so you're like it was mid, just kind of stare, stupid. like. Yeah, it was kind <laughs> of like a just a dumb, unnecessary hiccup that I caused for myself. But I remember when when his guitar strap broke at Froggy's. At Froggy's, I was there. Battle of the Bands. Yes, at Battle of the Bands. I yeah. think that <laughs> we didn't do so well that night. But <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. I remember that uh, one. Bigger screws. Well, yeah, those are my two ones really quick. No, that was mine, yeah. The, oh, okay. the, the, the my guitar strap. literally <laughs> broke on our set. The first song. You played the whole... Uh, without, he held, without you a still doubt, held it up, though, and finished the, the show. The show must go on. Right was textbook with joe that night he was just playing to the crowd i think at one point crouched down on his knee <laughs> like he uh, yeah. didn't know what to do but, <laughs> but still yeah. went on with it just get through the set it's true but yeah get better bigger screws for your strap locks that i learned that the hard way having Man. having been a band for 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 so long since since high school I'm sure there's mistakes you guys have made in your career. What many, many, if, many. if there's a band that's just starting tomorrow, they just formed in their garage, what advice would you give them? 
no matter how long you're going to be away from your gear, always make sure it's contained and locked. And I'm not talking about like when you get to the show and put it off to the side at the venue. We went to a home show one time that we set up. We did a whole thing to put all this show together. We were going to mainline it and all that. Joe and I went to go get flyers made the last minute. Had all the gear lined up in my truck to take it to our buddy's venue spot. We walked into the store, probably not even a full 10 minutes to make copies. Came back out, unloaded everything at our buddy's house. Somebody along that lines walked down the street, snatched our basis, base off the truck, and walked away with it. Oh, my goodness. It's a walk by. And we had to cancel the show because of that. We couldn't find another base. Nobody at that time knew anything close how to fill in for us so we we were just kind of fucked and Dang, that man. sucked that, that sucked suck. really bad always have a backup guitar <laughs> yeah backup <laughs> invest in backup and always leave someone with the car when you leave always leave someone with the gear definitely fair enough hell yeah uh joe i have one more question for you we're almost out of time but uh does does okay. being in? I know we kind of touched base on it, but uh, if you're willing to, we can you can you promote your other bands as well. But uh, does it ever conflict with Shark Fin, with all the other stuff that you do as far as touring, or is that kind of just pre mapped out? Hey, I'm going on the road for this so long, so let's do some shows when I get back. <laughs> blah blah blah. Or is there ever instances when 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 Seth and and everybody else in the band is just is just like, yo, we needed you, but you were gone because you're in this other this other man dude. <laughs> shit yeah no, yeah that yeah <laughs> well i mean well first of all the plugs i want to first off plug uh my other bands i play bass in another band called he films the clouds and uh, they're a lot more established than we are shark fin they know how to do backing tracks and do lights for their sets and i'm kind of learning how to do that by being in the presence of them, but um, I think I'm sorry. What was the the, the rest of the question? Just uh, does does Seth or, or Jacob ever hit you up and be like, bro, we had something. Oh yeah, we had an offer, but yeah, because yeah. you're out on the road, like we could we couldn't do this. Offer. Um, yeah. So with he films the clouds, uh, a lot of their stuff, uh, especially <laughs> with working with the management company, a lot of it is planned out like half a year ahead, like months and months ahead. So I can already uh, put that on a schedule and then work around with the guys in Sharkfin. And I'm the one kind of uh, pulling the strings with Sharkfin. So I'm like, all right, guys, let's get together for this. I have time for this on this, uh, uh, you know, at this time. And sometimes, uh, like when I was, I was supposed to leave for tour just a couple days ago, but our tour got canceled. But uh, Why? <clears throat> Uh, it was like scheduling conflicts like a lot of the venues like either pulled out or they were like they were double booked somehow damn those so, venues damn them yeah we had to pull out of that one on top of we didn't really have our transportation locked in so we're gonna have that for our next one though cool but yeah it's just uh Joe's a madman when it comes to music. He <laughs> he can do everything in the other band that's more established than we are, and he's still our gung ho leader. <laughs> like it's still like he said, he's the one calling the shots. It makes me think of that Wu Tang song where they're talking about we all form like Voltron. Well, Joe's the head of Voltron. We have the group chat, and he's Jody Lionhead for that reason. <laughs> Hell yeah. Is there is is there anything else we can plug? Uh, we only have like about a minute left, but is there anything else we, we can plug? We want to do a lot of shows. Tell people to hit us up, other bands. If you've seen us, if you haven't seen us, we're looking for a drummer. And our upcoming album is called Eventide. Uh, flood our Instagrams. Look at our stuff. I don't know. All that. Do we miss, anything, so do we miss anything on the notes? 
Uh, no. <laughs> no, I just covered that up. I he had a bunch <laughs> of fish puns that he was going to say, but we he, he <laughs> Drop passed, him. He Let, let's hear him. Let's hear him. Let's we're hear him. hungry for upcoming shows, so we're fishing for a new drummer, which means we're reeling in two more music videos. And, yeah, When World Collides with JV Music, <laughs> September 9th at Froggy's in Apple Valley. Shout out JV. Hell yeah, that's the homie. Shout out JV. <laughs> Last Everything question. Everything on the list is covered. Last question, which I'm sure is the first question that you always always get asked. But uh, how did you come up with Shark Fin, and why did you pick that band name? Can you tell us if you can remember the terrible other band names that got ruled out but were almost picked before Shark Fin? I'll just say the other two not so terrible names were Eagles Talon, uh -huh. Snake Fang, and we landed on Shark Fin, and Joe's going to tell you why. Well. As, as you were saying, BG, we went through a plethora of just super not rememberable band names one after another. And we're just thinking of like other band names like Beartooth and there's like other bands with like Predator body parts or like named after them. And we're thinking like what what's like something that's like brutal and you once you hear about it, it's like instills fear. Probably a shark fin in the water. Shark fin, even though we're a bunch of dudes from the desert, <laughs> I think it was, we thought it fit. Getting attacked by a shark or seeing the shark fin approaching you. And we all said seeing the shark yeah. fin approaching you is more scary. Jaws made me not want to get in the deep end of my pool when I was like five years old. So I totally, <laughs> I totally get that. Classic. Hell yeah. Air knuckle right there. I don't know. That's, I was the same way. I was the same way. Bam. Hell yeah. Well, I Hell say yeah, on the really. count of three, we drop a shark fin. MF, and I never curse on this show, but I'm going to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, one, two, three. Shark fin, mother fin, motherfucker! I love you guys. Woo! You're amazing. The live set is unbelievable. I'll, I'll I'll try my best to hit up some people and, and work on getting you guys some more shows if I can. But uh, I, I hope we hang out soon, and I, I hope you uh, speedy recover to your lady who's, who's cooking dinner. We look forward to the album in October. We look forward to the next video coming out in roughly a month or so, month or two-ish. But, gentlemen, this is a lot of fun. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, BG. My pleasure. And I'm going to put this on YouTube tomorrow morning. I'll tag you, all that stuff so for, uh, you know, sharing reasons and whatnot. Righteous. Ladies and gentlemen. Awesome. Shark Fed! Give me a hell yeah! <laughs> Have a fantastic day, boys. I appreciate you. Thank you again. Yeah. Hi, what's up, Welcome to the local band Smokeout.